children good morning i hope you are healthy and safe at home children are you doing the worksheets given in the previous session i gave some worksheets in the previous session i hope you are writing them neatly in your english class work are you writing children well i hope so you are writing neatly in your english class work children let's continue today's session children before we continue our session we'll quickly recap what has been taught in the last session children in the last session we were discussing about the sounds in the poem the sounds in the evening that is in the poem we were discussing about the different sounds the poet hears while she is at home isn't it well what else did we learn we learned about onomatopoeic words what is an onomatopoeic word well onomatopoeic words are the words which imitate the sounds of the words associated with it isn't it for example the word woof who says woof a dog says woof isn't it so it's an onomatopoeic word all right what else did we learn we learned about the different types of sentences isn't it how many types of sentences are there children well there are four types of sentences isn't it declarative sentence interrogative sentence exclamatory sentence and imperative sentence the first one declarative sentence children children what is a declarative sentence a declarative sentence is a sentence which makes a statement it is a simple sentence and conveys some meaning it always ends with a full stop children declarative sentence is also known as an assertive sentence what sentence children assertive sentence for example the book is on the table i am going to the market these type of sentences are known as declarative sentences the second one interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence is a sentence which asks question like what is your name where are you going children interrogative sentence always ends with a question mark all right the third one exclamatory sentence what is an exclamatory sentence children an exclamatory sentence is a sentence which expresses strong feelings like how musical the sounds are what a pleasant weather such type of sentences are known as exclamatory sentences children an exclamatory sentence always ends with an exclamatory mark all right the last one imperative sentence what is an imperative sentence an imperative sentence is a sentence which gives command or request for example shut the door it's an order please give me a glass of water well it's a request isn't it so such type of sentences are known as imperative sentences children now let's learn about abstract nouns children do you know what an abstract noun is abstract noun is a noun that describes a feeling or thought abstract nouns are names of things that are not concrete they name things that we cannot see hear touch taste or smell abstract nouns are the emotions or feelings that we can experience we cannot see or touch them but we can only feel them in our heart children did you understand these nouns cannot be seen they cannot be touched they cannot be heard they cannot be tasted and cannot be smelled well children now let us look at these words politeness honesty truth beauty wisdom strength these nouns are called abstract nouns your five senses cannot detect this group of words you cannot see them you cannot hear them you cannot smell them you cannot taste them not touch them children now look at this picture can you see the picture yes this is a picture of a boy with an ice cream the little boy seems to be very happy isn't it he's smiling isn't it yes when the little boy looked at the ice cream his heart overflowed with happiness 
the word ice cream is a concrete noun because you can see it you can taste it you can smell it and touch it and you can even draw it isn't it children do you like ice cream yes most of you like it i guess now look at the word happiness you cannot see it you can only see the little boy's smile but not his happiness you cannot smell it you cannot taste it you cannot touch it you cannot hear it too isn't it yes so the word happiness is an abstract noun children now let us look at some sentences wisdom keeps us safe anger is bad for the health bravery should be rewarded In these sentences wisdom anger and bravery are abstract nouns The words wisdom anger and bravery cannot be seen touched heard tasted and smell can you no we cannot so these words are abstract nouns Here are some more abstract nouns honesty childhood hope and victory children can you touch them yeah you cannot touch them well let's see the sentences honesty honesty is sometimes difficult but always right let's look at the second one childhood can you touch childhood no childhood is a time to learn and have fun let's look at the third one hope we always hope to do well the last one victory victory is always sweet these nouns are abstract nouns my father is a very patient man children the word patient is an adjective here in the second sentence my father has a lot of patience the word patience is an abstract noun children Have you noticed the word patient is an adjective and patience is an abstract noun which means abstract nouns can be formed from adjectives My plants in the pots do not grow well the word grow is a verb here In the second sentence my plants in the pots do not have a good growth the word growth is an abstract noun children have you noticed abstract nouns can be formed from verbs children let us look at the sentences ruby has been performing since she was a child the word child is a common noun isn't it children can you identify a proper noun in this sentence well you're right the word ruby is a proper noun let's go to the second sentence ruby has been performing since her childhood children the word childhood is a state so it's an abstract noun children have you observed abstract nouns can be formed from common nouns the word child is a common noun whereas the word childhood is an abstract noun here are some words and how abstract nouns are formed from different words well children did you understand about abstract nouns well in today's session we learned about abstract nouns and how abstract nouns are formed from adjectives common nouns and verbs children here is the worksheet for you write them neatly in your english class work we will continue our english class in the next session thank you